Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today is kind of a fun video. I have um, another scent from Dossier to test out and then I have a, kind of a ranking. I'm going to rank all of the scents that I've gotten from them and then there might be something extra at the end. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So first up, Dossier has been sending me perfumes for the past few months. Uh, and this is the last one that I got. They did send me two in this last order, but one was one that they had already sent me because there's powdery coconut and aquatic coconut, and they sent me a second powdery uh, coconut instead of the aquatic coconut. So I'm not going to talk about that one in terms of a first impressions or anything. We're just going to work on this one, which is Woody Raspberry. I do like that they always put the names up here uh, so you can tell and this is what the packaging looks like. So it's a recyclable box. Um, I did get a little stain on there. I, I don't know, something like probably a wallflower. And then inside it says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. And then you have a card that tells you what the notes are, what the inspiration is and all of that. And then you have the scent. So a little bit about Dossier before I get into the actual fragrance. And before I start that, if you've tried Dossier, let me know what scents you've tried, what your favorite scent is. I'm going to tell you what my favorite scent is that I've tested so far um, and which ones that I have been using quite a bit. I have been using all of them quite a bit because I have a lot of fragrances. So, you know, there's some that I've been craving and then some, and then the other ones that I like, but we'll, we'll go over that in a minute. So, uh, Dossier does inspired by fragrances and instead of having that luxury and price markup where fragrances can be a hundred, two hundred, three hundred and fifty dollars, they have Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, their inspiration. And that one's now like 365 because it just keeps going up and up. It, it's crazy. So they take the same quality and they create it at a fraction of the price. So all of the fragrances on their sites are on their sites. On their site is our 29 to $49 depending on what the ingredients are in it and they're always looking for new suggestions so if there's a scent that you would love to see an inspiration of just let them know and hopefully they will fingers crossed get around to making that one I really want them to do bitter peach by Tom Ford like that's the next one that I'm hoping they do because I really want that one but I don't want to pay $365 for that because that's that's just too much uh, for me. So like I said, they don't have that brand tax. So instead of paying for the name for the bottle, you still get a high quality bottle. So if we're looking at their bottles, they do have a, they're a nice heft to them. This one you can see I've used quite a bit of, and then they have the label that has the ingredients on it. And then they have a magnetic cap. So the caps stick on. If you grab them by the cap, they're going to stay, which is nice because I've had some of my more expensive perfumes uh, that I've accidentally grabbed by the cap because I thought I had grabbed something else. And yeah, it gets a little hairy uh, at times. So anyway, they have lovely bottles, uh, but they don't have that luxury tax basically for the brand names. The more that you buy, the more that you save. So if you buy three bottles, you get free shipping, you get a discount, their discounts change. And I also have a code that I'll put on the screen that code will get you an extra 10% off. I don't make anything from that code. It's just a way for Dossier to know that I sent you over there, that uh, you watched my video, and um, hopefully we'll be able to keep going with this collaboration. That code does save you 10%, so make sure you use that if you put in an order. The more bottles you buy, the more you save. So I already opened the box to show you what it is. The fragrance I chose this time was, and if you can hear the neighbor's lawnmower, I'm sorry. Uh, I chose Woody Raspberry. This one sounded really nice. So the notes on this are top notes of raspberry, neroli, and lemon, middle notes of jasmine, orange blossom, and gardenia, base notes of patchouli, amber, and honey. So this is supposed to be Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. I have not smelled this fragrance, the original. I don't know of any stores that carry the female fragrances from Paco Rabanne in store. Uh, I see the men's every once in a while, but I've never seen any at a counter. And it's not one that I felt like, oh, I want to blind buy or try to get a sample of it. It's not one that I've gotten a sample of either. Okay, this is, 
this to me is much more of a fall scent. This would be a little heavy to wear right now. I mean, it's it's hot, it's August, but this would be more of October, November type of weather for me because it's still gonna be hot in September. I am getting a little bit of the lemon in here and the probably the neroli, but there's like a slight sweetness to it. I wouldn't necessarily recognize it as a raspberry, but I'm also getting some of that uh, patchouli and probably the amber because it feels like there's something deeper to this that's not just like the fruitiness. It's really pretty. I'm really looking forward to wearing this in the fall. I think this would be a really lovely fall type scent. Something that is not over... Like, I think this would be okay to wear to work. It's, uh, you know, has a depth to it, but it's not overwhelming, which is something I'm always looking for. So yeah, I think this is a good one. Is it my favorite though? We'll see. All right, time for the rankings. Now, I like all of the fragrances that I've gotten from Dossier. It is not that one is better than another. It's just my scent preferences and what type of scents that I tend to gravitate towards more so than others. And yeah, so I, I like all of these. I think they're all quality scents, but just some I like a little bit more than others. So in seventh place of the seven I have tried, I'm going to put Powdery Coconut. This one is based on Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. And I like this one. The notes are cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. It's it's nice. It's just a little heavy for me, and it's not something that I necessarily would reach for a lot. I do have the Eau de Soleil Blanc, and it, that is a lighter, fresher version. I mean, I have a travel spray of it. I don't have like a bottle. Um, so. This one is just a little bit heavier, and I know that's because that's the difference between the Soleil Blanc and the Eau de Soleil Blanc. So this one is good if you like coconut type of um, more beachy type scents. This is this is very opulent and really nice. It's just a little much for my scent preferences. In sixth place, we're gonna put the newest one, Woody Raspberry, just because I like it, but it's not one that I feel like I'm going to be reaching for or craving to wear. There are a couple in here that I've been craving to wear and this one just isn't quite there. I think it's just really pretty and I'm really looking forward to wearing it in the cooler weather. It's just, it's a little, like like I said with the last one, just a little too heavy for me. Um, I like stuff that's really light. I feel like these uh, bottom two are heavier type of scents and those are just not quite my jam. And fifth place is Floral Berries. This is based on Peony and Blush Suede by Jo Malone. This one is pretty. Let me give you the notes. It is Peony, Red Apple, Berries, Rose, Carnation, Jasmine, Suede Accord, and Musks. It is really pretty. It just, the other ones I like just a little bit more than this one. I think it is pretty and I will be looking forward to wearing it, but I just like the other ones just a little bit more. This is the one that I have a good chunk of it out of here. This is Aquatic Peony. This is based on Aqua de Joya. And this one is one of my favorite scents to spray my pillows. I went through a bottle of Aqua de Joya and now, I, as you can see, I'm making a good dent in here. I just love putting a couple mists on my pillow. It's just so soft and comforting and that's what I really love. So the notes of this are mint, black currant, lemon, aquatic accord, peony, jasmine, pink pepper, cedarwood, and labdomen. Just that aquatic and the mint just are really soothing to me. I don't like lavender fragrances because lavender does give me a headache. So um, this is the type of scent that I really love to drift off to sleep. I also think it wears really nice on the skin. And if you are in a hot day and you want something aquatic, this is a good one for that too. But I, I love this as a pillow spray. Then we have Citrus Green Apple, which is based on Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. This one is just so sharp and fresh. And sharp sounds terrible, but it's not, it's a good thing. So the notes are Green Apple, Lime, Cidrat, Bluebell, Jasmine, Rose, Amber, Cedarwood, and Musk. It just is energizing, I guess. And right now, and it's hot and it's in the summer, this is the type of scent that I want to wear. This is another one that I would spray my pillow on for different reasons. It just, it's comforting at the same time. So I like this one too. I'm surprised this one beat out a couple of the other ones because I thought this would be more middle of the road, but I really do enjoy this one. All right, and second place is Fruity Honey. This is based on Jo Malone's 
nectarine blossom and honey I love that scent it is one that I was really tempted to purchase but it's so expensive for something that doesn't last like super long this has the similar longevity maybe just even a little bit more of than Joe Malone such a better price and just every bit is beautiful the notes on this are black currant green, green leaves honey nectarine peach and vetiver I love pe peach um, it's one of my favorite fruits one of my favorite notes as well um, nectarines are obviously related to uh, peaches too so this one is just beautiful this is a great spring scent it's a little heavy for right now in the heat because it's but this would be a lovely like evening scent as um, things cool down I also think this would be beautiful as a pillow spray I know I keep going about pillow sprays but I really have been enjoying having a scent at night which means first place is floral marshmallow are we surprised I think I've talked about this in every dossier video that I've had this is based on killing oh my gosh I couldn't think of the name Killian's love don't be shy the notes are marshmallow neroli bergamot orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine orris amber vanilla and musk and I know it doesn't look like I've I have been trying to use this sparingly which is stupid because I, I don't want to smell like marshmallow every day even though I would wear this every day like this is delicious it's beautiful it smells sweet and creamy but it also smells like sophisticated I I love it I think it is fantastic it is my number one pick so Yes, if you like something sweet and creamy and just wa want to smell like a snack, but like sophisticated at the same time, Flora Marshmallow, it's so good. If you are still watching, there is a giveaway here in this video. I'm not going to advertise it or anything. Um, so I have two scents from Dossier that I can't use or like I, I, th like I said, they sent me an extra powdery coconut. So I'm going to be including two fragrances in this giveaway. It is only open for the US, unfortunately, just because of the shipping restrictions on perfumes. It's really um, crazy. And it's also really expensive to send out of the country and stuff. So I will be sending you two fragrances. You will be getting powdery coconut, which is based on Soli Blanc by Tom Ford. And then the other one I have is Ambery Lavender, which is on the male side of fra the fragrance spectrum which is based on armani code not Ar armani code for her but the male version of armani code like i said lavender doesn't work with me and i do like the more traditionally female fragrances so these are two fragrances that um, i cannot use if you are interested in entering this giveaway one you have to be subscribed so hopefully you've already been subscribed watching this and then you have to like this video obviously and you're going to leave me a comment down below don't put giveaway in there if i see anything with giveaway i will delete it because um i don't want people to be searching for that if you don't want to be entered you can just say not interested don't but don't say anything about the giveaway because i want to reward the people who actually watch my videos and i don't want an influx of people just because they want to uh, win a couple of perfumes i want you to leave me what scent you wish dossier would create so any scent um it could be something that has already been created like i like i said i really wish that they would do a tom ford bitter peach dupe you can put that down or if there's like a type of scent that you really would like like i think a peach marshmallow would be really good i know like we're talking about the two fragrances again leave me that down below and say i wish that dossier would and then that will be how you enter the contest um, I'm going to have this open for a few weeks it's going to depend I will put it in the description box when it's going to end because um, I got to figure some stuff out with my life because of school and housing and all of that so I will have the ending date in the description box it will be kind of sneaky it won't say giveaway ends um but it will be like taking comments through blah 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 so must be in the u.s i'm sorry i know i have canadian and uk friends and friends all over the place um but just so that uh everything goes smoothly u.s only don't put a giveaway <laughs> anywhere tell me what fragrance you wish dossier would create and um Make sure you're liked and subscribed. 
I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.